So now that we have our camera in place, what can we do to the camera to edit the, the point of view? Um, so here's our target camera that we created. And we can click on it or the, the target and we can move these and uh, pretty much get the, the frame to, to where we want it to be or at least set up the, the shot uh, from the right perspective. But we can also change the perspective of the camera itself. So under the toolbar, go over to the Modified tab and uh, make sure you have your camera selected. The easiest thing is to change the uh, lens length or the field of view. So you can change either uh, if you're comfortable with photography uh, and you want to change the different lenses. They have some standard stock lenses that go from fisheye to standard 35 or 50 millimeter or uh, larger ones. Um, if we want to just stick with a standard one we can just deviate a little bit by uh, kind of tweaking it in with the uh, arrows or you can use a degree uh, field of view you know, if that's more comfortable to you. Uh, you can also do orthographic projection which will do a kind of axon from wherever you are. So a little bit different effect, but that's how you get a, um, an axon from an, from an angle. So we'll go back to perspective. And uh, we'll say that this is the angle that we want. Um, we can show the horizon to make sure that we have uh, kind of where we are on the world plane and also just to line up your shot right and then we can do environmental ranges you can show those and then those appear on the, uh, the kind of cone of blue point of view that is showing you uh, where shadows take effects and where the environment really plays and so not not really a big deal if you don't have it on you can extend it or shorten it up too uh, the clipping plane is really interesting uh, by default, you know it's probably going to have all of your uh, scene or most of your scene in it, but you can make a really neat section perspective this way by saying clip manually, have that box checked, and then the the far clipping plane you can come in and you uh, not render the back of your building, which I'm not sure why the f the far clipping plane would be useful, but the near one certainly can be. Uh, type in a kind of larger one and then you can see that won't render what's in front of that plane so you can uh, make a section perspective pretty easily just by doing that and that feature can also be animated too so if you're using keyframe animation you could start here and then keyframe to here and then have a gradual video that shows a section all the way through your building other than that, there's a, a few rendering effects, multi-pass uh, for depth of field and different depth of field parameters. Um, but you can also adjust the target distance. So if you wanted to animate that just numerically, you can come down here and uh, adjust that, that cone. So that's a basic run through for the different modifying parameters for cameras in 3DS.